What's up guys? Um, hello. About to lose their mind, Sambarians. Um, I'm trying to uh, do an exhaust on my 97 Diaz uh, KV4. The bolts, I'm sure you have noticed if you've seen and watching this video, uh, they're like pretty much welded themselves um, onto the vehicle. So, uh, to the exhaust manifold. <clears throat> so I'm doing, um, I'm trying different methods just so I can uh, say, hey, this is gonna be the easiest method. Okay, so uh, vice grips didn't work. Uh, die grinder, air compressor die grinder with the little grinding wheel uh, isn't gonna cut it. It's hard to get in there with it. Um, plus my air compressor sucks. Uh, and uh, Dremel. That was gonna take too long, too many little wheels. So I went to Home Depot right now, uh, got me a Ryobi uh, angle grinder, 49 bucks. Anybody can pick one of these up for pretty cheap, 49 bucks. Uh, you're probably thinking also, why didn't you just use bolt extractors? Um, I could have, um, I don't know. I, I'm just gonna grind them off because I'm gonna get rid of this shield anyways. Uh, it's cracked. Uh, either wrap the exhaust manifold with heat wrap or uh, just get a new heat shield because the newer ones come with a grommet and they're a little, um, uh, they've uh, figured out how to deal with it getting stuck and rusted and uh, cracking. So we're gonna go with this guy. You, uh, this is, this is working. Uh, man, probably should wear, uh, ear protection. My ears are ringing. Um, and definitely have eye protection. Uh, maybe wear a cup, too. Just protect your genitals. Um, you're gonna have to, these bolts are flanged. <clears throat> the bolts are flanged, so you have to, uh, basically grind the head off, then grind in the flange. So you get down to the base of it and then you should theoretically be able to just pull the heat shield off. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna keep going. Uh, yeah, so when you're grinding, make sure you don't have any gas around. Be super careful. If you don't know how to use an angle grinder, don't listen to me, don't do it. Find somebody who's professional. Um, I don't wanna be held responsible. <laughs> If you lose a finger, this thing will, this thing will wreak havoc on your skin. Okay. Uh, holy grind, Batman. Uh, finally got all the, uh, the bolts. Well, almost all the bolts. Ground down. You're going to need a, a pry bar and some muscle to uh, get this thing popping off of there because it's probably uh, let's see oh my goodness it fell off the forbidden wow oh, that's interesting I've never seen the insides of these it has like a metal uh has like a metal mesh in here, probably some kind of a uh, heat heat protection. Oh yeah, and it's probably asbestos. I'm probably getting lung lung cancer breathing this thing right here. It's interesting. So that's the bottom uh, where all the heat's gonna be pushing up against the bottom of that manifold. Um, so yeah, so here we go. We got all this off now. Um, then we're going to need to remove, uh, we're going to need to remove 
these two bolts here because I'm going to be doing an exhaust. I was basically just showing um, if you're going to need to do a heat shield or something with your exhaust, uh, or this is a manifold gasket. This is actually a shield and a gasket. So if this is bad, uh, this will get this whole piece will get replaced um, if you're leaking on your exhaust manifold. But I was just kind of showing you techniques of how to get the manifold off if it's super rusted, which it most likely will be super rusted. So yeah, now we're gonna remove uh, these two bolts here and then this entire uh, exhaust system itself. And we're gonna be putting this rock filled uh, exhaust on, give it a little bit of, uh, a little bit of sound and we're gonna lose like uh, probably a thousand pounds because that thing weighs this whole system according to some guys on Facebook weighs an extremely uh, Weighs a lot. Okay, we're going to start taking uh, Bolts off if you got penetrating lube That uh, might be helpful Just to kind of pop everything With some lube prior to uh, removing stuff. Oh and yeah, I'm uh, I'm old school. I don't use a I don't use an impact. But you know what? It keeps uh, I think it builds character. Okay, so there is a uh, there's a, a little another uh, muffler mount, uh, rubber ru muffler mount, rubber air wrap, um, on this uh, cross member here. The, the bar you can't see. So the cross member that goes across the back of the truck that you're supposed to jack the truck up on or the van. Uh, there's a mount, rubber mount on there. So there's one there that you have to loosen. Once you get all the other ones uh, all loosened up, then we're going to go to uh, Now we're going to take uh, this guy out the, the main The main The main frame uh, This one is a, uh, a 14 mil um, I'm actually going to use a half inch drive. Uh, just because it's probably going to be a, a little tough to break. Oh no. Okay, never mind. I literally could have kissed it and it probably would have came loose. Okay. Oh. Probably what helped was, um, in, in the meantime, doing everything else, uh, I stuck some good old uh, WD-40 um, Penetrate. Uh, on those, and yeah, they just like loosened right up. So. Cowabunga. Okay, now let's uh, pretend like we're a doctor uh, delivering. Oh, shoot. Uh, before we do that, uh, I almost forgot. There is a sensor that is going to probably be frozen in time. There's 
the temperature sensor. So if you get that little picture warning light on your dashboard, uh, this is this sensor is the culprit most likely. I mean, it's no good anyways. We're just going to, uh, we're just gonna ground that sucker. There we go. All right, there she is. Oh man, my back. So if you're not familiar with the exhaust system on these things, this guy here, this little uh, helmet looking Chingus, woo, full of dirt. Um, that's your catalytic converter right there. I'll probably sell that on the black market for more. It's JDM, suckers. <sighs> okay, so we gotta get that one. Oh, let me put that. I take that back. That bolt is not. Oh yeah, it is. It's in the wheel well. Okay, so we just have that one bolt to take off for the heat shield. And that bolt is a uh, 12 mil. Caramba. Oh gosh. Sorry, K Chen. There we go. Ducks are attacking my tarp. Okay, so again, we'll keep all the bolts, we'll keep all the heat shields, keep everything just in case. Okay, so here is that um, heat sensor I broke. Whatever, I'm not going to use it anyways. Um, this, we're going to just take probably up here to the harness probably take up here to the harness and uh just or here and i'm just gonna ground it out maybe i'll just ground it out right here actually i'll put the one heat shield bolt back and put an eyelet on here and just grind ground this out and it should uh keep from triggering the sensor man look at that lowering spring that's pretty bad ace Okay, so, and then now that you're, uh, you're here looking around after you get your exhaust off, that is an O2 sensor. Interesting. I had no idea these had O2 sensors. Pretty, pretty slick. Um, this, uh, gasket is actually in great shape. So we're going to reuse this gasket. Okay, so, <laughs> Bummerowski. Uh the picture of the exhaust showed the uh I don't know if you've seen these but they have the bumpers that are the bars so they're open so you can see all the sexiness behind the cover. Uh well that's why it doesn't fit. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the bumper cover off for now. And then uh, I think what I'll do is just make sure that I like the way it sounds and all that. And then uh, ow. I'm going to uh, take it to uh, an exhaust shop or I have a friend of mine, Scott Fusco, if you're watching this. Uh, take it to Scott's and have him uh, we'll cut it take about an inch out re-weld it uh, and put it back together so yeah if you ever were curious how the bumpers come off super easy uh, four bolts 
Uh, one side has got the nuts and the other side has the threaded posts. So the nut side is going to come down first and then the threaded posts are going to slide out. So let's uh, put the exhaust on. Just see what she sounds like. So it, it uses, uh, it basically uses the, uh, the factory uh, mount here, rubber mount, and then bolts down here. Uh, let's see here, we got this guy here. Uh, if you're still here with me, thank you. I really appreciate it. it means a lot. Um, if you left already, that's cool. I would probably have left too. Um, so uh, this thing didn't come with any hardware minus this uh, mounting bracket. Um, so I went and got myself a washer uh, and, a, a, and a lock washer. Um, but what I'm also going to do is, uh, we all know the meme, Annie sees, you just look at it and it gets everywhere. Um, but I'm going to put, uh, the high temp, uh, Annie sees on it. It's like a copper color. So that'll help, uh, prevent any... further corroding of the bolts and I'll probably also recommend using this when you put your heat shield uh, your exhaust manifold uh, heat shield back together uh, any seize is awesome any seize is your friend when you don't get it everywhere so I'm gonna cinch this sucker down make sure we're not touching anywhere Okay, so I don't want to crunch. I don't want to crush these things on there. Just kind of give it, you know, a good tightness. I'm sure there's a, a torque spec. I'll find that later. And um... Okay, uh, we got some white shins playing or something. High school music. Let's give her a try and hopefully it sounds better than the garbage that's playing on the radio right now.